for me. It oh, is yeah, far agreed. too much. Agreed. Um, and yeah. like, I, I think a, a lot of the conversation around this ends up coming into, oh, well, I, I would, I would be worried that g people would want to go second, and if Ooh. people, if, you know, <laughs> that's different, and every improvement starts with a change. So if it's if it's not different, you know, then it's not going to be an improvement. Um, Listen, as a filthy, filthy Yoshi Mitsu spammer, if you gave me a, an advantage for going second, I'll take it. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, and, but, and, you know? and, and I, yeah. And I think it's important to remember that uh, we have this whole diversity rule in UFS. We have this whole, like, culture game culture-wide idea that we want decks to be different. We want every game to be different. And we want it to be very varied like that. And yeah. I think, you know, across the board... It, sh it should be normal and expected that different matchups will play out in different ways. What? Oh boy, we're doing the we're doing, we're doing the Scott Sudman. Here's here's what my turn's gonna be. He's building all six. Or are we gonna mulligan? No, uh, church church already mulligan. I think. Is this? How many? Six? Prepping my six build. <laughs> you did spell my name wrong. But that's okay. Uh, every I'm... every teacher I've ever had. Or I ever had in elementary school spelled my name and pronounced it wrong. Did you notice before? No, I didn't know. Tim just Tim just put it out. I, I wasn't looking at the stream. <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. Did I spell okay. it wrong in the other stuff too? No, it's L E Y. I don't know. I have to check. Bromely to do. Bromely. This. Be better than broccoli, which is what I got all the time. Broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> or broomly. Oh, okay, okay, we're all good. Uh, I used Let's to tell people Ball, because Broccoli. nobody could spell my first name. I used to tell people, yeah, anything that starts with a T ends with an N, it's fine. And then I got called tampon for a week, and we <laughs> had to nip that in the bud. <laughs> high school we was don't... great, yo. Yeah, <laughs> high school. High school is a. Uh... Yep. You know, if right. there's anything I learned from playing my one match against Church. Is that uh, he is a very stylish player, right? Yes. <laughs> Church likes to have fun. Well, Bo Tucker, it helps Passing. to uh, twenty cards. to laugh and scoff at people, but I was a very oh. tiny person. The flex has been reversed. It was not a six build at all. Oh. They were hidden laughters. Hidden laughters. <laughs> They are hidden. Th Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> that funny. I would have also left. Oh, there's a lot of people with the UFS card bags. We saw the cannon earlier had it. Whoa. Whoa. Love that. That shirt certainly is a four low eight. <laughs> oh, it has been you at? Not a six build. I'm leaving. <laughs> I agree, dude. I mean, he, like he 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 told us one thing, and then he did not deliver. Like I'm incredibly disappointed. My day is ruined. It really is showing respect to Jesse because he thinks he needs the mind games in order to make this win happen. <laughs> <laughs> so so Andy, uh, uh, can you discard the first attack his opponent plays every turn? Yes. Yes. Which is really, well, really so cool. If they play a non-attack card first, he can't discard the first yeah. attack because that's still there. Right. Which is what which is what <laughs> most shared cards do. at the end. And but it still reduces the attack's damage to one to start Correct. with, right? That makes him pretty yeah. good into like shotgun decks. And then Oh look at that. What a perfect card to have against Andy. Wow. wow. Calculated. That is pretty good. We've got a reader. Uh, so what do each of these characters want to do? It's Mike's turn. Let's talk about her. Yeah, so this is a gauge deck. Um, the new card that is legal, I think, for the first time in this event, or was it the last event, um, is actually the Gen Con promo, My 3 Dot, who has an ability uh, in your staging area, form, lose X life, and your attacks will all get X speed and damage as soon as you get to play them, where X is the number of characters you have stacked, Ooh. which is a perfect fit for the gauge keywords this is playing a full complement of andy's suite um or not, amy's pardon me andy different character um and really setting up for some really just beefy life attack action oh. 
and then followed with Andy, who is just, he's a, a really solid defensive character by um, discarding the, uh, essentially negating one attack played per turn by either discarding it from the card pool, as we said, or putting his damage to one. And then if he is able to play an attack, he discards a card from your card pool, increasing his speed and getting to draw additional resources. Yeah, so uh, he's basically gonna, he's gonna just kind of, he's a, he's a tickler. He's gonna attack you, he's gonna say, hey, you wanna block? You don't wanna block? It's kinda small, you don't care either way. And maybe your life's going down, maybe it's maybe you're blocking. But if you are blocking, he's drawing cards. And so he's gonna keep attacking you with these little attacks and keep tickling you. Or maybe big throws, I don't know. Could be anything. Yeah. I mean, it could be other because if they block, you're rewarded for it, right? You get to get to draw a card yeah. and give and give the attack speed. Ooh. Davis. So we did not get the gauge because of tough and chips, right? Correct. But this, but this yep. combo is out of Vin and Rouge, and that's pretty neat. That's a cool card with with the, all the mize gaining life. Yeah. Yeah, and this is I, I would call this my deck a bruiser. Like it, yeah. it wants to get in there and fight, and it wants you to, you know, if you want to attack it, it's perfectly happy trading hits. It is thrilled to trade hits because <laughs> you know it, it gains a life back, and if it's gauging, like it's getting the better of those hits. That does sure. seem cool. very Jesse Servini, you know. Like I've never, I've never known Jesse Servini to, to be the guy who's like, you know, pulling out his abacus to to think about all the attacks you might be throwing. <laughs> out. <laughs> He's kind of like, if you got it, got it, you got it. Very good at getting those clutch hits in, for sure. Ooh, okay. The Nutcracker block. He does not want him to build. Uh, was this full blocked? On the four? It was not. He sh I think he took his four from that yeah, one. His left went down. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I guess we didn't gain vitality because we didn't lose vitality. That's what I was looking for. Right. right. Yes. Right, yeah, my, my, yeah, Maya's <laughs> sad, a little bit sad that with her best minuets, if you haven't started hitting her. But if you do start hitting her... That card's a party. Yeah, certainly, certainly. On top of being, you know, a four low for eight that doesn't always count to progressive difficulty. <laughs> Sometimes it draws six cards in a turn. Who knows? Defense. Spirit Shock. Officially into deadlock now. Ooh. Um. This my deck does have a some very spooky deadlock cards. I mean, um, you just showed you one. That says sure remove a card from your hand, you know? Yeah. yeah. Multiple one shadow banishments. Yeah, that's that's incredibly powerful. Uh, and I would be wary of that. But, you know, if you have uh, a passing the torch on board, you may not be too scared about running out of cards in hand. Yeah, a, a passing the torch and Andy. And actually, that's really about it. Okay. Yeah. Tossing another deck out. Yeah, another, another rouge. Oh well, there it is. That's what I was talking about. So this card, this card has a a little used deadlock enhance. Uh, void in general has some really brutal void or brutal deadlock enhances. This one, you get to look at their hand, which is very powerful in a, in and of its own. But also, you get to just flat out remove one of those cards from the game. <laughs> he turns like <laughs> this is the one you're getting rid of because oh, he had two crack suits. Okay, <laughs> that's funny. No choices here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a very church move right there. Um, so I haven't quite figured out what this Andy deck is doing um, offensively. It, it, it really just seems to be like a, it's good a lot stuff, of Andy. Just, yeah, it's just a lot of good cards, you know. And and he's playing into this character thing. But what is he adding into his card pool with a one man wolf pack? Oh, it's the other way around. So it actually picks up from the card pool. Oh. So if you Nutcracker, you can use Nutcracker with that as a tutor. I see, I see. Okay, all right. Adds a and I especially card. know that because I did that in Lilith and it was dope. So I wonder <laughs> if, there, if this is sort of a, a Cassie Cage package with like a Kimbo's and stuff. Oh, that'd be interesting, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't hate that idea. Gave it 3-3, three, three, got blocked. I like how Church puts it in front of his guard pool because <laughs> not even gonna get sure you Dan coming in. Whoa! Sure you Dan. See, see, back in the day when we made cards like uh, Single Barrel, they put the cards in face down because it, we didn't want to screw people out of playing the game if they happened to build a multi-symbol deck. 
And yeah. now, sure you, Dan, was a unique exception because it only put the top card of the discard pile in. So if you right. jumped through all the hoops to get your opponent's off symbol card on top of their discard pile, then only then were you allowed to punish them so brutally. Right. Kids yeah. these days, they just don't, they have it too easy. They've got it too yeah. easy. Yeah, they've got single barrel and... A single barrel. And these Shiva. Walk them out of the game for a whole turn. Yeah. Hitting them with the, the stupid ass anti-stalling rule. Give I have certainly had the pleasure of playing a uh, a Janet deck with like 30 off symbol cards into multiple <laughs> Shivas over the course of the last two weeks and been extremely happy about it. <laughs> you sound happy, to be honest. Oh yeah, dude. Actually well, won that. It sounds like it sounds like you're 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 mimicking some feelings right now. Say... <laughs> I sure sure am. <laughs> yeah. I definitely went into his turn and was like, uh I'm gonna remove every mimic from my discard pile now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, interesting. It's the easy so this block. A, this is a three, whose art is way more. Oh, pixely. that's why. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> you'll love the graceful rouge reversal. Oh, and now, yeah, now we conveniently have a, a card already queued up in our card pool to to shake the Andy. All right, we're gonna. Commit a Malfa, where you maybe shouldn't commit a Malfestation, but I there's think you do. a sense of morals over there. He's only got one sense of morals, and he's going to stun three of his cards, right? I, I suppose. I mean, it might, I it might end up. It might end up being. It, yeah, I guess it takes a while for it to be for a church to turn a profit off of it. Yeah, he would have to play a lot of cards this turn, which he might. You know, you, you never know. We we have drawn at least one extra, um, and, and we get to draw. We, Possibly two more, depending on. Uh, yeah, all, all of our plan. attacks subsequently here are going to be. Uh, yeah, they're they're going to be cantrips. Yeah. And what's kind of fun with Andy is oh. that fails the first sense uh, of morals. Yeah, with his enhanced kind of this, he gets a speed pump, but the speed pump is really sort of fake because uh, you're clearing progressive difficulty for your pump, but getting the speed back. So like, right. You know, the short you Dan, it's a nor no normal three. Three, three speed attack. It adds a card into the pool, so it's kind of virtually four speed. Then you kick the card out, and it becomes literally four speed. So, so I really love Graceful Rouge on the life symbol. Like I've used it on all of its symbols at this point, but because of its its synergy with Cassandra's support. Yeah, I mean the three mid block. You, you, you don't scoff at the eight damage attack unless you're Andy, apparently. <laughs> but um, uh, uh, any breaker blocks that do that's funny. Into a shotgun. Very cool. Um, but 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 it's it's very good. I had a, a, a Cassandra deck that I was running it in, just because six low eight reversals, man, with stun two. Yeah. Yeah. Geez. Brutal. Hmm. Okay. Maybe so, I'll try to build a spike, the, the the a standard spike resurrected evil your face deck. Yeah, you get the benefit of of gauging in the spike one. You know, I, yeah. I think I put an extra copy of Cassandra in that deck, just. Because you know, but yeah, I, oh. I, I really love um, Fatal Eye. I mean, we saw it, yeah, we saw it in action in the last yeah. match. Um, it's a great card. I, I really enjoyed playing Fatal Eye uh, in Spike. I've actually got played it in the PTC and did pretty well. So he cancels the damage enhance on shotgun. I guess he, I, Jesse doesn't have any other cards in hand, he just had the revoke. Mm, so. Correct. So, it, okay, in combination with Last of His Kind, means he's effectively taking four from this one right uh five, five really five, yeah because yeah. i mean last was kind of just minus two damage yeah 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 no second it's shot incredibly good you. this man building brazenly into deadlock well i mean I once not... you know, in for a penny in for a pound really yeah, yeah yeah i mean at that point you just keep going he's gonna have two cents of morals this time once Let's you get see. a taste you gotta just keep going deeper yeah and it's not, yeah. really, it's not really deep dick deadlock until you're like 15, 20 in. So it, let me it doesn't feel like uh, my... Andy for sure is not afraid of this deadlock. And that's that's what is like really important here. Um, yeah. We've kept Andy open to stop at least one attack. Right. Um, keeping, keeping our health up as high as it can be. We don't even necessarily... And, and stopping Mai from being able to, to gain her two because he's got to deal four or more, right? Right. Yeah. Ooh, well, Andy, Andy was printed in 2013, and this is how you played UFS in 2013. Okay, right. you didn't have Spirit Shotgun. 
Like you weren't threatening to win the game or anything when you did that kind of play like you did last turn. But this is this is how you play. This is the, the broad flow of the things. So so no foundation mm -hmm. into the roost net. So maybe to force it maybe. so we can play other things. Yeah, that could be a sign of a very high quality hand or that Yeah, or just drew six attacks, right? Yeah. And that was the least quality one. Um the one thing the church has been doing really well is answering all of Jesse's um, gauge attacks. I think yeah. putting the three three on this one pro is signaling that he's not. Uh, he doesn't have any other attacks, perhaps. Yeah. Um, or or he's using it on this one because this is the only one he's not going to be able to bakery. Right. This one is raw eight eight. Mm. Right. He's oh, I think I think the opposite, literally the polar opposite direction of. Well, he's putting eight eight on this because he wants to bait the bakery to get popped. Well, I think he's only used two enhances right now, right? He's given. Yeah, no, you're, you're you're absolutely correct. Yeah, and I think he's. I, I think I'll, I wouldn't be surprised to see him just pass the block step without using Omega Sword. Give me just a second. I think my food is here. Oh. Thanks. Uh, yeah, and he's putting the Omega Sword into his momentum with Ominous Prophecy. Mm. Neat. Uh, real spooky if there's a uh Nutcracker coming in next turn. Uh, that is something that we're gonna have to be careful of. Another minus two, four high for eight. Kind of an easy block here. And <laughs> another crack shoot. Neat. Wow, crack shoot's a one high. What a what a cool card. Yeah. All right, so we'll see if Jesse has anything more going on here. I'm glad you tried it. Stacked my four, four threes. Oof. Haunting a uh, church by playing sh the third shadow of a cowboy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that might that that I'm not sure what the the, uh, the big idea with that turn was. Like he, so he, there... he, stacked, he got stacked. He got some cards in his hand, but you know, hmm. would you rather just stack up the attacks to try to get one big turn? I don't know. Yeah, I honestly not in love with it. Uh, this is an Akimbo play. Here it comes. Sure smells like it. Yeah, we got... Or not. Oh, Nutcracker for first. And yeah. it passes. So you can draw a trillion cards instead of just a billion? That's certainly what it looks like. All right, boys, tell me if my munching is too loud. <laughs> Will do. What did you get? Got a big old burrito. Ooh. Ooh. What meat can you get in My, uh, uh, I got steak. Usually I'm, I'm, I've, been having, I've been having chicken, uh, chicken wraps and bowls every day for the past three weeks. And I can't mm. cook, cook, I can't cook to the level that I want to today. So cheat day. Hell yeah. All right. Oh yeah. Is that the, the carne asada steak? Is that the normal steak? Normal steak. All right. Fair enough. Still good. I'm pretty uh I'm pretty lame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lost the tie. It's okay. <laughs> hey, just yeah, don't get those you know, you don't want to get burrito on your tie. Exactly, not, yeah. Not acceptable. Reborn human pretty good. I don't think it saves you from a shotgun though. No. I mean, all, I feel yeah, like... all these cards share three with, with shotgun and Andy, right? Or they well, all these cards, do. yeah, share three with Andy. So shotguns are on thirteen right now, plus thirteen, so that's twenty, twenty-three even. What I'm learning is that Church really likes shotgun decks. Oh man, yeah, that, that reward human block saved him exactly two li three life. No wait, it was a two damage move. That literally. I, yes, it did two life. It did two life. And then it got kicked. I don't know if you realized it would get kicked by Andy. But... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it might have been like the only thing that... You may as well use it. You know? If we you do? Might have been a mis miscalculation. <laughs> I mean, 
now we oh. get to draw three cards. We get to try to draw three cards. Unless. I would. I mean, we pass it, right? Yeah. We tap two Sinter Morals and probably. And pass I mean, this if, card. You already have the, if you already have the shotgun in your hand, right? You may as well just. Oh, he fails it. He chooses not to. Four, ca casual 14 foundations. 12 up. No big deal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if he, if, he, if he already has the shotgun, there's no reason to go for it. He's already dead to it, right? Right. Unless the last card is a revoke. Even then. Uh, then it's, the yeah, then you, then you die on chip damage. Yeah. Going for the block. He's, mess, I mean, guys. he's got, he's what got if to have there the is an elf yeah. shield hiding underneath the, the owl shield. <laughs> The old Cassie Cage, or the old Cassandra play. So that went pretty much the way that that you said it was going to go, Kevin. With the the Ash, Ash, ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> the Andy, just poking and poking turn after turn while controlling the game defensively, right? Not allowing yeah, yeah. It just to go through, building very consistently, um, and Jesse really struggling to to put a uh, an offensive line together. Might have just been drawing awkward or trying to deal with. What he thought the offense was going to be the next turn, but kind of the see. problem with the uh, the fighting the 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 team fatal fury characters is you kind of have to have like a decent enough aggressive strategy to to make something really happen. Um, going in with pokes against a specifically Andy just isn't mm -hmm. going to happen because of the kick. Sure, and um, Andy did go first there. Yeah, get to mark that. Get to write that down. Wherever my pen went. Did I throw it somewhere? Oh, I threw it on the ground. You're not my dad. You're yeah. a cell phone. <laughs> I have not That's thought about Lonely hard. Island. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, howdy. So what does uh what does my do to win this game, Chris? I think you just gotta be uh, I think I think the ideal situation is you got a big early build off, um, and Mulligan hard for it, so you can aggress enough that Andy's feeling pressure has to get cards out of his hand. Um, if you get a, a Nutcracker block out of their hand, I mean uh, that's 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 a win, you know. Like like limiting Andy's options offensively is just as good as gauging and all that stuff, right? So I think him using his his enhance. You know, early on stuff just to force uh, uh, defensive committals from from the Andy is the is the is is the right decision. I think he was yeah. making great calls. It's just Andy built immediately into deadlock and just had enough defense to be able to to to, to deal with uh, the Mize yeah. offensive package. So so I think I think if there's a situation where he draws, you know, a lot of gauge attacks early. And gets the gauge off, and then follows up with with some big iron knuckles and abyss minuets. You know, if he draws the the right attacks at the right time, he can definitely mm -hmm. close this out quickly. It's just you know, it, it, it'll be a a lot to do with luck. And he did sideboard like seven cards, right? Or was it the full eight? Uh, we have ten cards on our sideboard actually. Oh, ten cards! Right, you're right, you're right. How about um, this one, boys? Ivy Blade. That's cool. It's neat. I mean, the plus two speed is like oh. sweet. You don't get that one, Church. You get to check all your attacks instead. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the the big key for for my here is going to be to assemble a critical mass, and I think Ivy Blade is a really good start to that. Sure. Um, but yeah, like I mean, we saw in the last game he attacked on virtually every turn, but then those attacks ran into Andy's response. They ran into very <laughs> easy blocks. And then, oh, and then Andy just got to refresh all of his resources after that. So that's unfortunate. Do you respond with just one of those, or do you respond with two to do mm. it? You not have the option to respond with both of those. Oh, yeah. true, true. You're right. You're right. Yeah. We go back and forth. Right. Well, I mean, if I were the Andy, I would, I would pass. Yeah. Just kick the attack. Mm. Yeah, and hey, wait. I guess it depends on uh, do we how bad do we want this uh, passing the torch, right? True, and it appears like quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, that's enough. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a one damage 
I, yeah, I think it's, it's you're probably safe getting rid of it at that point. You know, it's a three eye for one worth. Um, but if you if you don't kick it, then then uh, Jesse has to deal with um, with either losing his attack or dealing with two cards progressive difficulty on this continuing build. Yes, yeah, so this would be a four high for four. Any block will deny gauge here. And but if if he has a if if Andy has a plus two modifier or worse, it is failable. So yes, yeah, on check a five to block. Ooh. He cannot check anything but an attack. Yeah. His entire life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think I think if I were a judge watching that, I would have given a warning, but <laughs> it, 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 it certainly messed up my screen and I had to yeah. fucking fix it for the stream. <laughs> but, but um <laughs> but you know they're putting on a show. Yeah. He's going to check the shadow throw, but he gets his... He, he gets shuffled his, his deck. deck. That's wild. He gets a, a crucial... Um, oh, he shuffled his deck, did he? Oh, the after game, the right? Judge, and still check the shadow throw. That's really that's funny. Amazing. Wow, that's funny. Well, he, and he played He played a, 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 a he played his Mappa Station on the off chance he was going to check it anyway, right? Yeah. Later on it, yeah. What can I say? He said I was the Oracle. <laughs> I mean, I got, got another Shuri Dan coming in. This is a neat one. So, Andy gives it speed, just one for each one that's left, right? Correct. Yes. He, he's he's like the Taki Storm count. Right. Only he doesn't count his own either. So, it's not really like... It's, it's the other half. It's like, he's Taki minus Spike. Right. Not quite as good. Goes for my two block. Is this card any good besides just like being on the card? Or well, being, having the word my on it? He can loop uh, Amy's card that flips itself to loop itself. Okay. Right? So she can she can choose. I don't think that's what it does. Does she? No, no, no. She, she, you get to choose you one of the. You can clear it out. Okay. No, yeah, you're thinking of her action, infinite weapons. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Not quite that, that great. I mean,. Uh, I mean, maybe just because you can, right? Like, in my yeah. uh, Gage Akuma 2 deck, I certainly ran a, a, a copy of Akuma 1. Just why not? Casual 6 mid 14 right here. Not bad. Yeah. Not yeah. bad. That'll, not bad. that'll... Oh. I, if, if I'm Jesse, I take this. Oh. Close. I think I, I think I want to take 14. Right. So why you so? Can, so you can heal. 7 up. Desperation for Ivy Blade. Yeah. Uh, that's fair. Yeah. And also, the oh, next unless, one's going to be slower. Unless there's a second shotgun. Huh. And see, this one doesn't have plus two speed from Andy. Right. So and I we have no cards in our hand, so... Oh, he's he's going to be able to pick oh, up wait. an attack. No, he picks up an attack yeah. with, with Ivy Blade, right? I mean, maybe. Or, 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 he, 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 he can draw a card, yeah. He can pick up a, a something. So what's he... Here's the what, fives. What is going I'm on I'm confused here? what's happening. I yeah. think we're unpacking the game, and... Uh, huh. Calling a match? Mm, he could have drawn a block. Yeah. Well, sometimes you call things when, when you didn't need to. Jesse might not see the, the desperation draw. Yeah, I mean, this, this, this could be off of what they're actually saying to each other verbally that we are not party to. Yeah. Yeah. Which is so... always the fun extra layer of this. Oh, sometimes there you, you have it. It looks like a, it's like a 2 -0. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but break serve going uh, in in the second game. Yeah. With not not the strongest build either. You know, it was just yeah. I mean, weak build, good uh, attacks, right? Yeah. Just yeah. drew the drew the big ones. He Shotgun checked poorly in the beginning, so that he may check well in the end. So, so I talked to Tam about this. Uh, yeah.